the calendar view on the left is a really useful way to look at jobs on a much bigger picture. So the daily whiteboard is sort of your day-to-day -day view, but often you want to step back and see what's been scheduled for the month or in the upcoming weeks, et cetera. And that's where the calendar view comes in handy. Here you can pick the type of work that you want to show, whether you just want to show the installation, the lawn care, the maintenance, or all if you want. And you can also pick which crews you want to include. So if I want to show both install A and B, I'm going to turn both those on and I can see the working schedules for both those crews. I'm going to stick with just install A for now. Here you can see January is looking okay, so I'll move into February. And there's just a problem down here where for install A, I've got two jobs scheduled on the same dates for February. Here's where it's really easy to move jobs in the schedule around. Lawrence landscape is starting on the 23rd, but we're still working on the Jones landscape until the 25th. Lawrence technically shouldn't start till the 26th so that we don't have any jobs trying to happen at the same time. I'm just gonna grab the first visit of Lawrence and drag it here to the 26th. It's gonna say, are you sure we're gonna delete all the dates and reschedule it based on the 26th, based on your original schedule settings? I'll hit okay. And that's exactly what it'll do. Now it's got Jones landscape going to the 25th, Lawrence starting on the 26th, and then Lawrence is gonna go into March according to the number of dates I had originally scheduled for it. The schedule review screen gives us sort of a more data look at the schedule. The most important way for this screen to work is your overdue work. So your overdue work is all the visits that have been scheduled and haven't yet been marked down by your crews is complete. So here you can see I've run overdue for all my calendars and I'm looking at all visit types, but I could filter this down. If I wanted to see just our salting applications that didn't get done, then I can do this by salt app and I can see, okay, I've got these three salt applications that were supposed to happen on these dates and didn't for whatever reason. If I wanna see all types, I can do that. This is a really handy tool to look at daily probably, but at least weekly to make sure you're not falling behind on your, on your work. If there's a task that has not been marked as completed or skipped or something intentional, we've got a problem. Nothing should show up as overdue. We either need to mark it as complete because it got done and the crew for whatever reason didn't complete it properly, or it didn't get completed. We need to put it back on the schedule on the date where it can get completed. The overdue view of the schedule review screen is a really handy tool for that. But you can also look at work that has been scheduled or will be scheduled for the next date range so here's all the work, for instance, that's going to be scheduled from January 26th to February 26th. Or I could look at work that's been skipped between two dates or work that's been completed between two dates. So if I want to see the jobs that have been completed between Jan 1 and Feb 26, I can set that date range and hit refresh. It'll show me the work that we have marked as completed between those two dates.